After you sign into your JISC account, you'll be able to see your dashboard. Now, when you first start it up, you won't see anything in your dashboard, just this empty field here where I've got my artist survey. But you will see a tab on the left hand side next to the text that says your surveys, which says create new. You'll also notice that I have another set of options over here. I can import surveys, export them. Uh, I can collaborate if that's what I'm doing. And I can also look back at my um, deleted surveys in the waste bin before I permanently delete them. Also, you notice up here, just worth knowing where they are, there's a manage tab where you can look after your profile, your messages, and there's the sign out tab there on the top. What we're gonna do first is create a new survey. So I'm gonna go down here to the create new tab. And I'm gonna give my survey a name. I'm gonna call it SO303. 2023 test survey and click create. Once you do that, it will take you to a new screen. And this new screen has three tabs just here. You'll see next to it that it's draft because I haven't published it yet. And I've got a bunch of different options. So I can edit the title of this. And I also, at, by default, as soon as I create the new survey, I'm in the design tab. So the survey sort of creation process or the survey uh, process overall is, di is divided into the design, distribute and analyze phases. And you'll see here that I can switch between these tabs as I want just by clicking on them. <clears throat> the design tab is where we're going to spend most of our time setting up the survey. This is where we can add pages, we can add sections and pages and sections are kind of the same thing. You'll see that when we go to preview our surveys later on, that when the respondents click the survey link, one single page will be a bank of questions that fits on one page in their browser. And then when they click forward to the next page for another set of questions, they'll be brought to page two and then page three and so on. Over here, I've got a bunch of tools. I can alter my survey map, change the appearance cosmetically, adjust some common settings, associate some files, and then I can export it if I want. The preview tab is important. We're going to use this quite a lot because quite often as we're writing this, we want to see what it looks like. Uh, to our respondents in real time so we can click in and out of preview. On the distribute tab, you'll see that I can adjust all of my different launch settings here. So I have a couple of options here. I can set an opening time. I can set it to a specific time in the future when I want it to open. I can put a limit on it, which is a closing time. I can select the date. You can put down your, now by default, this will be the account associated, the email associated with your JISC account which is probably fine for a contact. This is the name that your respondents will see. And this is the name that goes into building the link. This is the link that you'll be able to distribute and send around for people to click onto and take the survey. I can also launch it down here using this button or I can do it by changing the opening and the closing times. If you want also, you can look at the password and when the final version is built, there'll be more in this. You can look at the survey map, how it will look when your respondent is clicking through it. And then later we can look at the Analyze tab. The Analyze tab is where all of our results are going to be compiled and our responses. We can export them into a spreadsheet if we want from here as well, once we get some more data. We can look at individual responses. We can have a look at the views associated with the survey and we can do some basic analysis. We can look at some cross tabulations and we can do some other things like we can look at, um, we can look at our data in just a little bit more detail, but we'll worry about that later. So, from here, I can click back to dashboard and you'll see here that I can now access, again, I can straight away go to either design, distribute or analyze for any of my active surveys. So if we want to go back in and start editing our survey, we click design. You'll also see here, we can look at the opening and closing dates for the survey. And we have a number of different options here. We can quick um, launch into preview. We can copy the survey if we wanted to mess around with different formats and see how they compared. If we wanted to go and preview it quickly or if we want to edit it, we could click into design or we can click on the edit key here. So once we go back into design, we're back into this section here, which is going to allow us to set up our questions. Mm -hmm. And we'll look at our question formatting and uh, question settings in the next video.